Yo. Yo, yo, yo. What up, man? Not much. What about you? Said your switches are Gator and Blacks, right? Uh, Gator and Black inks. That's what they are. Not Call the Dead? Yeah, I just... I don't know how to describe it, but like... I kind of want to play Zombies, but I don't want to take it like too seriously right now. If that makes any sense. Like, I kind of just want to just chill. You getting tired of it? Not necessarily tired, I just kind of needed, like, a break. So. Plus, I'm, like, running on, uh... Like, fucking four hours of sleep, so. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna play some Noct. I'm not gonna take it, like too seriously but i don't know i'm still gonna try and get a game going obviously like i'll restart for like good bucks but i'm not gonna i can take it too seriously all right first off Gonna plug in my mouse. There you go. Still be on in half an hour, probably. Um, hold on. What case in PCB did you use? Um. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, I completely forgot. Okay, I think I should be good now. There you go. If you're not playing seriously, you should run a patch. Why in the hell would I want to do that? Like, I'm not practicing, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm playing, like, an actual game. I would use a patch if I was, like, practicing, but... Nocturne and Toen is probably the easiest map to play for BO1. Like, maybe not in terms of actually getting the record, but in terms of just playing. Yeah, definitely, like, one of the easier ones. Last guy over here? No. Okay, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. Don't even need to reset a knock unless you're way slower than box error, right? Uh, honestly, like, Nox speed doesn't really matter. 
The only reason I restarted there is because I genuinely just did not know where that zombie was. Okay, these are like just some terrible zombie spawns. Okay, never mind. They're good now. <laughs> for world record uh not really i'm just kind of playing like i guess quote unquote casually if that makes any sense not really taking anything too serious right now new upload is awesome well thank you yeah that video is doing like really well surprisingly Yo, what's up, Shaka? One more zombie left. There you go. Yo, yo. Go one door. Maybe someday, but not for now. I think if I do knocked one door, I'll do it for uh, it's like a speed run. <laughs> but, but that would be it. Be like knocked round a hundred speed run. It's like really like stupid though because nobody speed runs knocked at least to one hundred. The thirty and fifty though, that's. Definitely different people speed run it more. Yeah, the 30 and 50 is actually like pretty optimized, surprisingly. But I think it's just because it's like such a bare bones map. That's the reason why people uh play it so much, at least for speedruns. It's all I've ever practiced knocked for. Interesting. How long you plan on playing this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I was just kind of in the mood to stream today, and I was like, yeah, might as well play some knocked. Why not? not last. What? I got two more. 
Not one more. Get over here. Yeah. Cool. Okay. What are you going for this stream? I mean, I'm not even really going for, like, the high round record on this map. I'm just playing just to play. But... I'm still gonna try and get a game going. Nice nuke. Speedrun, this is not a speedrun. You do not need to play fast on Noct. Jesus. Oh my god. There's less. Are you less? You are. Nice. Um, hey, what's your favorite map? And also your Discord link isn't working. Uh, my favorite map is Varukt. So. Yeah. Uh, it's mostly the World at War version, to be honest. But bo one version is also pretty nice. But thank you so much for the $10. That's extremely generous of you. Uh, and Riz, thank you for becoming a member. Um, in terms of my Discord link not working, probably have to fix that. Probably do it after stream or something. We'll see. God, my sensitivity is so high. I'm gonna play with it anyway, though. Burn out of world at war. Um, I wouldn't say burnt out from world at war. I just haven't been in the mood to play it. God, dude, this fucking box look. Jesus. You like BO3 zombies? Not a whole lot, but... I would like to try it out at some point.
Nice. Now I just need monkey bombs. Uh, double okay he's back with streaming wouldn't necessarily say I'm like back just kind of felt like streaming today I don't think it should be this hard to get monkey bombs. Okay. Don't get a teddy bear, it's knocked. The box can't move. Which is honestly a pretty good thing. <laughs> so. Pretty dope. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. my god. How many times do I have to hit for monkey bombs? Knocked version is your favorite? Probably World at War. I think the thing with World at War is like, you actually uh, get to have f a little fun with it, if that makes any sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's like pretty boring, but with BO1, it's just trading and then shooting the zombies to get points. Like, it's, I mean, it's a little more to that, but you kind of get the point. It's like, Oh 
Ja, ist dabei. There you go. I'll be honest, not exactly the best setup, but I'm gonna play it. Okay. I think you'll ever do five runs? No. Definitely not. I just don't see myself enjoying that map. the five dollars shaka I'll read your message in a second oh wow okay you just gotta love it when you get the thunder gun fail Um, anyway, and the reason why I think it's like a bit of a yikes set, uh, relaxing end, like send that guy like a gift and Lex reacted uh, to his escapes. Um, I think a lot of it just has to do with him like perceiving the community so I have a feeling like if the relaxing end and Lex actually knew like he cheated like a run potentially more like I do think that they probably wouldn't have given him like any attention whatsoever in general I just don't like it when people care about attention that much and deceive others. Okay, I guess it just doesn't end around. Yo, what's up, Scott? How can I play BO1 Moon on Xbox One? Uh, you gotta pay money to Activision. So that way you can get the DLC. That's how.
go. I mean, I guess if people really want to pirate BO1, then fair enough. I mean, that's entirely on them. I can't really control what people, uh, do. Yo, Bear, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Alright, I'm gonna try and get some Thompson ammo. Ever do a Q and A stream slash video? Uh, maybe a stream. I don't know about a video. Maybe if I hit like 100k like subscribers or something, then sure. But for me to hit that, I mean, it's gonna take a while. But I'd like to hit like 100k by potentially the end of this year. Nice max, really needed that. Do the best and you're gonna hit 100k no problem, I bet. Maybe. Okay, dude. Alright. Nice spawns. Jesus. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. A world record attempt? Not really. I mean, I guess kinda. Just naturally, I'm a competitive person, but I'm not really taking like anything too seriously right now. Like, I just kind of want to chill. some moon runs at some point uh probably not the only um maps i really care for at the moment is uh knocked and call the dead surprisingly 
Like, they're pretty boring maps to play, but I don't know, I just feel the, the mood to play them. Through Origins, any tips? I have no tips because I don't play Black Ops 3. You're kind of on your own. Okay, dude. Jesus. These fucking spawns, man. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I honestly just severely dislike knock early rounds. It's just an absolute pain in the ass to play. Back up's one right, cause Thunder Gun? Well, yeah, I mean, there's no Gobble Gum machine. <laughs> there's no Wonder Fizz. Of course, it's Black Ops 1. Okay, dude. Oh my god. Dude, my decision making is terrible right now. It's probably because I'm just really tired, but it's not good. It is not good. No, it's 60 hours of flopping. Or like 30. But yeah. Watch your new video yesterday. Great content. Well, thank you. Glad you liked it. Okay, thank fuck. 
Uh, yeah, I really needed that max. Go 149. Dude, the luck required to get a 149 is just fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's definitely possible, but, like, my trades would kind of need to be a little cracked. Go 163, knocked instas. Somehow the YouTube algorithm knew I started playing zombies again and fed me, like, 30 of your videos in a row. Damn. Round prediction. Uh, since I'm not really taking this seriously, probably like 40 tops. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really going for anything crazy. Just kind of chilling right now. Thompson room only challenge. Yeah, I've heard of it. Nice. How many hours do you think you have on the game? Be a one? Uh, probably like 3,000. On Steam it says I have 2,500, but... Um, if we're including the offline hours, I've played about 3,000. Yo, what's up, Sliaz? Okay. I guess it's not end around. Yeah, they're still spawning. Oh, nice.
might be a way to get round 100 under an hour. Uh, yeah, I've already done it. Love your Sona, by the way, Krups. It's very poggers. Well, I'm glad you like it. I am getting more art of my character. Same with, like, a new profile picture and banner that I'll use for my YouTube. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Scott, it was absolutely incredible. The amount of talent that went into that piece was just astonishing. Okay, dude, that fucking scared me. I did not get... Or expect to get slapped. Jesus, man. Mm, I have to pick it up, damn. That was a bad call on my part. Are you going for world record? Um, no, not really. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Is your PB unknocked anyway? I think it's 63. I'm pretty sure that's my PB. a world record for knocked it's 148 what okay I guess the T-Gun is just only going to kill half the fucking zombies. Jesus. <laughs> Very cool game.
What's your next video about? Any hint? Uh, honestly, I'm not even sure. I'm trying to debate if, like, I want to make a video about me and, like, my story. Or if I want to make a video on, like, another record history. Like, I just, I can't decide. Normally, I don't like to make videos about myself, but... I think be, being able to document my journey is a pretty cool video. I think some people would like to see that. That would be cool, maybe. I already have like a title planned and everything. Like I think I think I'm gonna title it like how I became a record holder at age twelve or something. I mean the records I got back then were honestly like fucking dog shit. Like, so much so that the categories for those records doesn't even exist anymore, but I still think, like, it should be a, a cool thing to talk about. Tell us your first record. It's like a really shitty, like, no revive co op on World at War Barak. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it was, like, I wasn't lying when I said it was shitty, like, it straight up just was fucking a dog shit record, <laughs> like, I, literally anybody could get that, like, that's just how easy it was. But when I, um... When I, uh, turned, like, 14... Like, just as I turned 14, that's when I, like, really started going for solo records. And that's, I think that's where I, like, started to shine a little bit. Fuck off. Don't. Don't. Jesus. I swear, if that zombie had slapped me after that first T-gun shot, I would have been so fucking pissed. I'm gonna have to shoot it again. Awesome. How old are you? I'm 18. Yeah, I am 18. I'm not lying when I say that. Okay. 
Ain't no way you're 18. I am. Have you, have you heard, like, how I sound in my videos? I sound like I'm 18. Okay, that was a bit sketchy. I somehow made that work. No, you don't, bro. How do I not sound like I'm 18? Is there like something I'm missing? He sounds 18. See, that's what I'm saying. You sound like you are Krups. Holy shit. That's fucking insane. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Jesus. I'm telling you, I hate the fucking knocked early game. It's so ass. The world record for all that were not, yeah, it's 5,262. At least I'm pretty sure that's a record. I hope my memory is not failing me because <laughs> I got it so. Okay, this is pretty huge. Yeah, it's 5,262. It's on my channel. I should probably upload full gameplay to YouTube, though. I mean, it's all on my Twitch, but... I think having two places where full gameplay is accessible would be pretty nice, because I know not everyone likes to use Twitch.
73 hours? No, took me nearly 96 hours to get 5,262. But if I were to play Noct again, hold on. I gotta focus, sorry. All right, I think I'm good. Um, if I were to play Noct again, I could probably be like maybe two, two hours faster, possibly. Get to 4,000? Oh. Um, moon world record unbeatable? No. You can beat his record by a significant amount with the new strat. Um, I'm gonna listen to music though, you guys won't be able to hear it. Because I don't want copyrighted music on my stream, but I just want to chill. Oh, I guess... I guess you can fucking hear it through my desktop audio too. Very, very epic. Hold on. I need to change my sound settings real quick. Wait, why is it there? Oh, there you go. Alright, now you guys can't hear it. Weird watching you play without zombie sounds. Oh yeah, I don't really like zombie sounds, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't really like them to be honest. Um, the only game I usually play zombie sounds on is uh, World at War. World at War, you actually do kind of want to have zombie sounds on. A new ascension strat what do you what do you mean by new could you elaborate oh my fucking god that was absurdly sketchy. Yo, what's up, Giant?
World record. World record on this map is 148. Playing on console or PC? I am playing on PC. You do not want to play knocked on console. Trust me, you just don't. With controller? No, I'm on keyboard and mouse. Pretty good. Actually, find it all donos in that Kino run. Really? Okay. Bell and Wings had something on him. Okay, well then that that would make sense then as to like why he was doing that. Are you sure he refunded the donos though? Like, I just want to make sure. Posted a picture of it on Twitter. Alright, let me finish this round. I just want to check that out real quick. Because so I want to make sure I'm, like, clearing... Why did I swap the weapons? Whatever. That's what I get for being a dumbass. Alright, let me check. Oh, okay, so he did. Alright. Interesting. I don't know how I miss this. Yeah, I see it now. Good catch, dude.
All right, I'm gonna um, put that in my pinned comment. Yeah, that's that's a really good find. Do you Kino? No, I'm gonna play what I want. Your timer is astonished. Yeah. You also stream for a month too on an alt account, which only me and a handful of others knew. Name up due to him being afraid. Yeah, I can't really blame him. When you when you have people that have like stuff on you, right? It's like yeah, you kind of just, like, want to get out of there. But still, I, I think the fact that he even allowed them to, or I guess in this case, Wings, allowed him to, you know, play the game and then obviously fake a record, I, I think is extremely fucked. I mean, it's good he refunded the donations, too, but... I, I still think the fact that he accepted those donations in the first place is still just, like, extremely fucking scummy. Wings is dangerous? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, definitely one of the more interesting people in the community. I will say that. Play whatever you want. I know I am. It's my stream. It's my channel. I'm going to do what I want. Yeah, hopefully this game is better. Like, I can actually get, you know, box set up earlier. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Nice round done. Yeah, no, I, I sincerely appreciate you telling me that. It kind of sucks that I got that info wrong. Like, I, this when it comes to my videos, I want to make sure, like, everything is accurate as possible. But, unfortunately, I'm just, I'm going to get something wrong. It just happens, so.
They're only human. Yeah, that's true. Plus, like, I don't want people to, like, get the wrong idea about, like, a person. You know, especially when it comes to, like, cheater videos. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, cheating in general is, like, fucking terrible. But, like, I don't want to portray a person as, like, you know, bad. If that makes any sense. Unless they, like, genuinely did something fucked up. Then, you know, that's entirely different. Um... Just more or less just stating the facts, explaining what happened, etc. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. Sketchy exposed Slain Vader and Frostbite, or did the community just look into the game? So, I'm not really gonna go, like, full in the detail, because, like, there's a person that kind of, like, hinted that Frostbite's game was, uh, cheated, but, like I said, I'm not gonna name them, because, well, they don't really want to be named, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, they... They hinted that this game was uh, cheated. And, of course, uh, Calvin, he, you know, started looking into it. And, uh, it's kind of how they found out, like, hey, this game's really suspicious. And then, of course, they had, like, a confession from him. Like, literally admitting that it was cheated. As for lane vader, uh, it's really just like community, honestly. I mean, we know for a fact he like cheated, uh, you know, 300 plus on Barak. I mean, that's 100% confirmed. So, as for his other records, I mean, there's. Definitely some sussy stuff involved, I will say that. But they aren't, you know, confirmed cheated. But still felt like including them. Because, you know, if, if you cheat a record, right, and then you have other records that are suspicious, then uh, it's, it's probably hitting towards some something. Uh, I feel like your lane vader coverage on your video wasn't really good. Uh, could you elaborate? I mean, you're not, like, the first person to say that. I just like to hear your points. Really had us for a decade. Yeah, I think out of all the cheaters in that video, I think Syndicate, honestly, is, like, up there in terms of, like... The worst. I just think the fact that he's like still denying that game was ever cheated over a decade later is just pretty fucked. I think you should include his defense. Uh, what specifically should I have put in?
placing accusations. Oh, I, I never said in the video that he like spliced it. I just said people thought it was splice. Or at least most people think it was splice. I just said what more than likely happened is he was just using a virtual machine. Which would explain why, you know, in the recording it would freeze because he was recording with his graphics card, so. I'm just doing some games for fun. I'm not really looking to get any records. record pace uh pace doesn't matter on knocked all that matters is if you're getting good trades before you box air like that's literally all that matters um i'm gonna be right back
All right, I'm back. Yeah, sorry for the wait, guys. Um. <laughs> All right. Hellcrop's first time catching the stream? Well, welcome. Double nuke. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna quit out. Yeah. It's just the box lock isn't good enough, unfortunately. Need a channel? Do you ever stream on Twitch? Uh, I used to, but not really anymore. Do you have any plans on going to any furry conventions? No. Going to a fucking. I think any kind of convention as a content creator is a fucking nightmare. Like, unfortunately, this is, like, the truth, but, you know, when you're pretty big, it's like people idolize you and this and that, and honestly, I think that's just fucking stupid, personally. Like, you can enjoy a person, but I feel like the idolization is just, yeah, it's just fucking ridiculous. I don't want to have to deal with that shit. I'm even going just for fun and not as a content creator. Well, the the thing is, it's like, I, I can't just, you know, go, right? Like, especially, you know, if I have, like, a fursuit and shit, like, of course people are gonna fucking recognize me, so... I just don't want to deal with, you know, weird people. That's just the truth. Like, I'm sure there's, like, great people that go to conventions, but there's also not... A lot of uh, good people either, unfortunately. That's just kind of how it is with any convention. In any fandom. Streamer thinks he's popular? Not necessarily. But considering I'm getting like more known in the fandom... then uh, it's going to be a, a bit bad if I ever go to the, the convention. I guess, like, I, I don't necessarily need to, like, announce it, right? Like, I guess in that way that'd be, like, a great idea, but... Yeah, I don't know. Plus, I just don't see myself enjoying one. I'd rather just stay at home and fucking play zombies. Kind of all I want to do. <laughs> Who did your icon? Oh lord. Uh...
I don't even remember. Yeah. I'm sorry. I am getting a new one though. Like, probably within the next few days. So, this one's gonna be replaced. Why is there a timer doing a challenge of some sort? Um, it's just showcasing my, like, in-game time. It's not really needed for Nocturne and Tone. I just like seeing how long I've been in the game, and I'm sure other people would like to see that as well, so... Might as well have a timer at the top left. Plus, I need, uh, the box hits counter. That's very, very important for Noct. So that way I can keep track of like how good or how bad my trades have been. But if they're really bad, right? Like, then obviously I'm not even gonna have a chance to get a record. Which is like, okay, I'm not even going for it, but just gives you a good indication of where you are. gotten a knock to reset before no the closest i've ever been to a knock to reset is uh my world at war knocked 5262 game and that was nearly 96 hours in which is like a little over halfway to reset Any random you want to reach a stream? Like 40 plus, honestly. Like I said, I'm not playing too seriously, but if I can get 40 plus, I'll, I'll be happy about that. I know it's like pretty low, but... I guess it's something. Now 10,000 could be possible? No. 9,000 is, though. Hey, Crops. Big fan of your stuff. Mostly a lurker here, but wanted to show some support. Much love. Well, thank you, Neon. I appreciate it. How do you remember all your records? Well, I don't necessarily remember every single one of my records, but when it comes to the main ones, like the solo records, I, uh... I tend to remember the round I got on it, because, I mean, it's a world record that I achieved, so. It's Blasterous legit? Yeah, why? Said B01 can be pushed at 230? I don't know about 230, man. But you can get 220 plus.
bubble and stuff. How's that not end the round? Say not 10,000 possible with insane luck, you could get a lot of insta kills and you can hit the reset. When I say not 10,000 is impossible, it means it's impossible. Doesn't matter how lucky you get with the nukes, you're just not going to be able to save enough time. It's just not going to happen. Rounds possible world that were knocked. I think if you're really pushing it, maybe like 9,500. But like I said, that's like really pushing it, and assuming you get some like fucking cracked RNG. I'll have to, like, do the math again, though, just to see, like, how far you could, like, really push it, though. I don't know the reset. Reset's, like, 167 hours? Something like that? Or if every drop was a nuke? I hate to break it to you, but that's not possible. Uh, thank you, Durr. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to deny it. The video definitely was good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that video came out, but I did get, like, some info wrong, specifically around Rox Wrong's part. Turns out he actually refunded all the donations. I don't know how I missed that, but yeah, he did, which is good. But the fact he was still accepting donations in the first place, I think, is pretty fucked up. So, yeah. That's, like, really the one thing, like, I'm kind of pissed off about, though. Like, at least at myself for the video. Like, I, I just don't know how I fucking missed that, but apparently I did. Unfortunately. Then again, shit happens. What are you gonna do about it? It's hard getting like facts right, especially on something as like zombies or like zombie high rounds. Okay, now I just need Thunder Gun. What world record was your favorite to beat? Favorite to beat? Uh... Probably the Varrock record. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but like, just... Beating the Varrock record for the first time on World at War was 
extremely fucking satisfying. Holy shit. Could have fucking died there. Anyway. Yeah. Crux. Holy shit. And Thunder Gun. Damn. Oh my god. Okay. Dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fucking zombies, man. But yeah, definitely Varrock when I got like 4 out of 4. That was a very satisfying experience. Not bad? Oh, definitely not bad at all. What about your 10,000 game? You'd be surprised, but like... I don't know, like, I, I guess in a way, like, it definitely was, like, a good feeling, right? Like, first 10,000, but... I don't know, it wasn't really my favorite, to be honest. Like, I'm sure for other people, like, it would have been insane for them, but for me, it was, like... I don't know. I didn't really feel much from it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I just didn't. And, and you can kind of tell, like, with my reaction to, like, like if, if it really meant something to me, then you know, obviously, I would have uh, probably reacted way differently. But I didn't, so. Wait. But didn't I shoot here? What? Okay, whatever, dude. I, I don't even care anymore. Zombies makes no sense at some points. I probably did shoot over there, I just can't remember, because my memory is just fucking terrible, but... Whatever. What are your thoughts on the new things that are added in BO3, like AATs and special weapons? Do you think that they make a f uh, for a better experience, or just a different experience I wouldn't say butter I, I just think a different experience honestly I think AATs like in a way like I guess they can be fun but at the same time like I just kind of wish BO3 like stuck to the traditional uh, way zombies was you know like involving traps stuff like that I think what would have been better, to be honest, is maybe keeping the AATs, but completely removing Gobble Gums. I think that in itself would have made BO3 like a better game. I, I just think the uh, Gobble Gums give players too much power. Obviously, there's a category to play without them, but... Gobble Gums in general are just like a, a core part of Black Ops 3. Like, that's just something you can't deny. And for the BO1 knock record, not really. I'm just playing just to play. I want to have some fun, so. It's not a bad nuke.
Or the same as well that we're knocked? Nope. Make sure I have all the barrels exploded. Okay. Yep. Yep. Wait. Yep. Yep. Alright, good. Least favorite perk? I don't even know. I don't really put in thought of trying to figure out what my least favorite perk is. I just kind of play zombies just to play zombies and like just get records. I don't really care about like storyline and like what my favorite perk is and stuff. I mean, if people like that, then fair enough. But for me, I just... I don't know. I guess you could say my brain is mush. If that makes any sense. Like, I'm just too lazy to put in the effort of figuring out what my least favorite this or that is. Okay, dude, what the fuck? Ever broke a record on console? Yeah. Double carp, okay. Reason for Thunder Gun fail? Uh, I don't know, it just happens. This COD B01 with reshade on? Nope. These are the game settings at like high high uh settings or quality, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. 
I'm pretty sure they're all put to the max. Oh, thought thought I pulled out the ray gun, but I guess not. Nice. When did stream start? Started uh, about two hours ago. Favorite zombies game? Black Ops 1. Publish records. Oh, no. No, not anymore. Good luck with the runs, thank you. Hmm, it's pretty good max. There you go. What up, crops? Not much. What about you? Do you think convicted cheaters should be able to post to ZWR still? Um... I mean, if they cheated, like, one record, then, like... Probably not until they've, you know, proved themselves. Um, if they've cheated multiple, then no, I, I just don't think they should be allowed, like, back into the community. Also, I, I think if they, you know, actually, like, come out and admit, you know, their record was... Uh, cheated or whatever, you know, like I, I definitely think that would be Or um, I'm trying to think of how I would phrase this like if they're trying to get back in the community, right? And they like come out and like admit like their record was cheated or whatever. I think in a way that would gain them quote-unquote respect Because you know, they're actually like ad admitting to the wrongdoing so yeah, I don't know. I guess it really just depends on the person, to be honest. And just like... Hold on, I gotta focus. Anyway, I think it just depends on the person. your PB on this map? Like 63. How can you trust he won't do it again though? Well, that's the thing. It depends on the person. Unfortunately, some people aren't trustworthy and others are trustworthy. It's 
So sometimes you just gotta, you know, be like, okay, we're gonna allow him back, or other times you're just gonna have to flat out say, no, not gonna happen. Typically, though, if somebody is like a convicted cheater on zombie world records, then they're not getting that ban unlifted, and like, I can tell you that much. Zombies making zero sound, because I have zombie sounds disabled. That's why. I just don't like hearing them. I think it can be pretty annoying. And I'm listening to music too. So. You know, I don't really want my music to be interrupted. I've waiting in my friends list on Steam. I don't know why. Really? Sometimes people just need to get that dopamine hit from pretending to get a world record. Sometimes they're a nasty cheater. Well, yeah, I think a lot of cheaters... I think a lot of it just has to do with wanting to gain respect or popularity. Typically, it's, like, never for money, but there has been, like, cheaters in the past from, like, other games that have cheated to get money. So, pretty, uh, pretty unfortunate, that's for sure. cycle fucking carpenter like first drop like fucking three or four times in a row now jesus <laughs> try pulling in steam chat when i was idling for that war hours was he like yo what's up gonna do a world record history of BO1 knock at some point I will oh my god it's Calvin what's up Calvin Thank you. 
Oops up unfairly. Very cool. What would be your favorite map to speedrun for Edgar High Round? Um, well, it obviously would be High Round. Favorite map to speedrun? Honestly, it's got to be uh, Shangri La for sure. Just like everything about Shangri La, I think is pretty fun for speedrunning personally. Like, there's definitely RNG involved, but out of all the maps, I would have to say Shangri-La is probably the one that's, like, the least RNG-based, specifically for, like, 30, 50, and, like, maybe maybe 70 speedrun as well. Yeah, just, like, the times are very, very close to each other because, you know, there's, there's no um, dog rounds only weapon you can kill the zombies with is obviously the baby gun so like yeah you kind of get my point what's your notch pb play call of the dead again probably at some point but right now i'm just chilling
really hope this was end around. Definitely looks like it. Strat, what do you have to use? Uh, it's the same strategy as you just have to do them better. And also just pray you get more lucky. video thank you make like the best content to fall asleep to thank you What's up, Danny? Sorry for the pause, I'm just checking something real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm actually like so tired. I don't know how I'm awake right now. Okay.
Yeah, I would read chat more often, but because I'm so fucking exhausted and, and I'm obviously in holy shit. And also, I'm in, you know, early rounds on Noct. And I have to stay focused. If I ever get to trading, though, which will definitely be a while if I even survive that long, then I'll be able to uh, re-chat more often. He is a fake streamer. What's a fake streamer? Oh my fucking god. Game, fuck off. It's like you shoot the fucking thunder gun and it just doesn't kill the two zombies in front of you, like Jesus. Yo, thank you for the $10, dude. On behalf of the viewers slash community, we all greatly appreciate the content you make. You're the main reason I finally got back into zombies after many years of not playing. Thank you, brother. Well, I'm glad I could get you back into zombies, dude. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you for the $10 as well. That's very generous of you. Jesus. Dude, I'm I'm just gonna have to throw a monkey bomb down. God. Apparently getting drops is fucking impossible. Yep, it's actually fucking impossible. Holy shit. Wow.
my god, no max, dude. I'm actually getting trolled so hard by this game. <laughs> Double insta. Okay. All right, I'm just going to Tommy the rest of these zombies. Double, Jesus, man. <laughs> I literally just have, like, nuke and then, like, max left. Yeah, if I got 40s, I'd be kind of happy, because I haven't played zombies in literally like a month. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Jesus. That pisses me off. One for like two weeks.
What the fuck kind of spawn is that, dude? Jesus. Oh my god. Really? What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. It only took like, you know, 10 years to get that fucking max. What the fuck, man? I'm like not even joking I say this. That was honestly, like, the worst max ammo luck I think I've gotten, like... Holy shit, dude. Like, straight up, that was... Genuinely, like, terrible RNG. Hello? What's up? Oh, that's not around, okay. Double. I'm trying to get in the 40s for right now. If I get to the 40s, and I'll just continue playing.
Uh, yeah, 150, technically speaking, is possible, but the RNG required to get that far would be kind of nuts. Yeah, the reset is like 170 something hours on this map for BO1, so. Yeah, pretty high. You don't really have to worry about reset, you just have to worry about box RNG. Uh, current world record is 148. about not falling asleep um no you can just pause the game Okay, that was sketchy. Oh, falling asleep from boredom, yeah. Once you get past toming the zombies for like... ten plus hours, then... It actually becomes fun, because that's when you can start, uh... Doing trades. I literally just have max left. I'm getting trolled so hard from this game. <laughs> I'm on a new cycle now. Your videos are severely underrated. Well, thank you. Yo, sub Zato.
When are you gonna get pack a bunch? Dude, I remember those people that would ask me those questions when I was playing like World at War and it wasn't Doris. Jesus. I, I guess I just like assumed that like these maps had like pack a punch on them or like you could use like some sort of fucking gobble gum to like get a pack a punch weapon, but no. Nah. Oh my god, I fucking hate it when the zombies do that. Like they just get stuck around here. Just completely fuck up your- Like, see, again, like, what the fuck, man? Taking a break from Call of the Dead? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mostly just am playing Noct because I wanted to. There really isn't like a specific reason. Morning, Krups. Good morning. How do you not get slowed down in traps in World of War Reese? If you throw a grenade at your feet and it explodes, you actually won't get uh, stunned by the trap. You'll still take damage, but the stun will no longer be a thing. So, it's extremely useful on, like, Doris and uh, Baruch. Not just surprisingly underrated in BO1. I agree. That's Carpenter. Okay. But yeah, definitely uh, an underrated map for sure. I think a lot of it just has to do with like... Or, um... I think a lot of the reason why... Or part of the reason why people don't like this map is just because of how boring, like, Tomming the zombies can be, but, um... It's definitely up there. In terms of, like, one of the more... Like, interesting... Maps. Is this last guy? No. Wow. I, okay. I thought that was end around.
Alright. So I just have uh, insta left in my cycle. Think zombies will ever be as good as it was in the early 2010s? Um, probably not. I think the biggest problem with like Treyarch and Activision is they're constantly like focusing on the story too much. Because if you if you look at the um older games like BO1, BO2, um, I think they have like a good balance of story and gameplay right like high rounds are fun you can do easter egg speed runs as well like there, there's a pretty good balance uh but these newer games i don't think they really have that balance i think they're geared towards like new slash casual players which i mean there isn't anything in particularly wrong with that but for me, it's just like, there's just no way in hell I'm going to be able to enjoy them, you know? Oh my god. Alright, I'm actually just going to be done for today. I'm just getting fucked over left and right. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> but, I guess this was a good D-Rust. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.